Hey guys, welcome to Woodwork Life. Today I'm building a Drinko set. A Drinko set's a fun little game. It's kind of a play on the Plinko game from uh, Price is Right. Check it out on Pinterest if you haven't seen it before. I'll throw a link below. It's a fun way to kind of keep your guests entertained and make sure that they put their bottle caps in the right spot at the same time. I'm actually building this one for my sister. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the materials list for this project is pretty cheap. Just a couple of 2x4s, and a sheet of spruce plywood, and a little sheet of 8-inch plexiglass. I start by ripping off the rounded edges from the 2x4s. This will give you a little more professional look in the end, and it will make them a little bit easier to work with. 2x4s are never actually square and straight, so this lets you clean them up just a little bit. If you had a jointer, this is where you want to joint one face and one edge to give yourself a nice square surface to work with. We'll start by cutting a rabbit in the back of the 2x4s to house the 3 quarter inch sheet of plywood. You could just screw it into the back, but this gives it a little more finished look in the end. You could do this with a dado stack in one pass, but that wouldn't be particularly safe. So I do it with two passes with a rip blade, and that makes your rabbit. Next you'll want to cut your miters at 45 degrees so that you can make a box with mitered corners. You'll want to set up a stop block and lay out your pieces to make sure that you have your 45 degree angles in the correct orientation. That way when you put your pieces together you have good miter joints and you ensure that all the pieces are the same length so the joints come together tightly. Before you do this you may also want to check your miter saw to make sure that your 45 degree detents are accurate. I'll link to a couple of good videos on how to do that below. Next it's time to glue up your miters. Make sure you have a square ready and have your clamps ready, and also a brad nailer if you have one to pin these together. That way you can get these moving as fast as possible. Modern glues don't have that much setup time. I like to hold my 45 degrees in place and put a pin nail in each corner. That way it has a little bit of steel reinforcement and something I can bend a little bit to wiggle everything into a nice square box. Once you get those first couple pieces glued in, you can still check everything for square. At this point it's just held together with a couple pin nails and a little bit of glue. So you still have some time to wiggle it around a little bit to get everything just square. If your box is square and your miters are close enough to 45, your corners will come together with just a little bit of glue. The glue will probably take up any sort of gap that you might have as long as you're within tolerances. A couple of final brad nails. And then it's time for some clamps. The brad nails aren't actually holding this box together, they're just there to keep everything aligned while you clamp it. The glue is going to be actually doing most of the heavy lifting. This just prevents you from having to put any crazy jigs together to get the pressure just right on those corners. Now that it's all clamped up, just one final check for square, and then it's just waiting for glue to dry. Now if for some crazy reason you wanted to make this drinking game out of solid hardwood, you wouldn't want to glue it in at this point. But I just used cheap plywood from Home Depot, so I glued it in and tacked it in with a couple of brad nails. Next it's time to lay out for the feet, or legs, or whatever you want to call them. I just marked a center point on the board and put a couple of marks to indicate where the edges of the box would be. Then from there I marked a random angle and repeated that angle on the other side to cut out over at the miter saw. After I marked up my legs, I brought them over on miter saw and set the blade to whatever random angle it is that I drew on these things and cut them out. You can cut these with a band saw or a jigsaw or whatever you feel comfortable with, but I have a saw that goes past 45 degrees, so I used it. After I got the legs cut out, I chose to put a little bit of a round over on them just to give them a little more finished look. I was making this for my sister after all, so I wanted to make it look like a little bit nicer piece of furniture. 
and that's pretty much the last prep step. From there it's all just sanding and finishing up some of the details to get it ready for some finish. After I got all the surfaces prepped, I cut a couple of slats to use as dividers at the bottom of the Plinko game. That way you could put little post-it notes about drinking games or prizes or whatever you wanted to use this for. I just held them in with a little bit of CA glue and some pressure. It's probably not going to be a perfect long-term fix, but they're just getting hit with bottle caps, so it should hold up okay. The picture my sister sent me was in a dark walnut finish, so I used some dark walnut stain to sort of get that dark effect without using a solid wood. The nice thing about using spruce lumber is that it sort of matches spruce plywood. It makes it a little bit easier to match. It's not beautiful, but it works. I then did my best Steve Ramsey impression and finished the whole project in spray lacquer. Two coats, ought to do it. For optimum Plinko effect, I used a story pole with inch and a half spacing to mark for my nails. Stop. Time. Once all your nails are in place, the last step is to pre-drill for some screws. This is also a great time to figure out what that clutch does on your drill. I set mine at about 20% to make sure I didn't put too much torque on the screws and crack the plexiglass. That's really enough to ruin your day. Finally attach your bottle opener of choice, mine is a lion, and grab a beverage, and plinko away. I hope drinking a beer on screen doesn't make YouTube take my 14 cents a video away, but totally worth it. So thanks for watching today. That Drinko project was a lot of fun to build. If you like this project and want to see more projects like this, please drop me a like below and consider subscribing. Also in the comments, let me know maybe another project you might want to see me build, a bar game or furniture, whatever you're really into. I build a little bit of everything on this channel. I try to, try to keep it interesting. So thanks for watching today. And remember, keep your tools sharp and keep your mind even sharper. Yeah.